What it do, folks? What it do? Happy New Year. Uh, man, <laughs> what a very eventful December, at least for me to say. Um, and that's what we're actually going to be kind of chit chatting about today here on today's episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. I hope this new year brings you guys a lot more blessings, a lot more crypto. Um, but as far as me personally, um, the journey, the journey has been going well, folks, uh, started this, what, almost about four years ago, been pretty much manifesting and obviously trying to get bigger in the crypto space. Obviously, if you guys have been following any of my channels, you guys know that I am involved with a plethora of projects, and it seems like that number consistently goes up on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, wherever you want to label it. Um, but the month of December was really busy just for what so many different factors, so many different events going on. I got a chance to go to Central in Miami, great conference, like over what, like 5,000 people there. Bunch of projects I found, discovered, uh, a lot of people I got introduced to networking. I mean, it was an overall great event. I felt like it took me a while to kind of digest everything that had perspired at that event down there in Miami. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they are going to be doing another conference here the uh, next couple of months or so. So that's something that definitely I'll be trying to uh get out to and uh now is my probably what i think my first crypto conference that i've actually attended to um i actually wanted to go to a couple i wanted to go to bitcoin miami um just at that time was in i guess you could say financially ready at that time um but now things are a little bit different got some of my investments that are starting to really really look out for the kid uh, but those, if you guys have had the chance to go to an event, you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. For those of you that haven't gone to an event yet, man, the people that you meet at these events, obviously they're brilliant. You know, some of these, some of these minds are just <laughs> really brilliant minds. Some of these projects that people are doing, I mean, it's just really crazy to see like different aspects of people come from different parts of backgrounds, uh, you know, whether that be regular job or something working in the crypto verse uh, because as you guys know there are jobs in the crypto space here folks um and some are actually are in the metaverse i've actually seen some jobs where yes you can work in the metaverse and make yes money crypto income yes like i said the, there's multiple commies here folks you just gotta find the one that best suits you works for you now as far as me uh obviously that doesn't really wrap up the month of december because folks you know it was my birthday um and i also got a chance to really really travel uh boy i went to about i believe it was two countries almost went to three uh but i did get a little hurt on that on that last country but uh i started off with what went to the bahamas for about some about what Four nights, got a chance to go out there, see that lovely Caribbean sea, and uh, enjoy some of that nice weather. Take a break from what's been kind of been crazy, obviously, with this whole COVID and the new variant, the IHU. It just seems like it's just nonstop. So having to deal and live with this COVID world has been annoying. But like I said, I did get a chance to kind of decompress, uh, get my mind right as far as what to get done for this year. Um, and also got a chance to go to Aruba. Aruba is very nice, very, very friendly people, man. The whole island is really dope. Real chill, real chill. Uh, if you get a chance to go out there, I would suggest you go out there as well. Pretty much anywhere in the Caribbean, folks. I don't think you can go wrong. Uh, my goal actually is to kind of visit all the Caribbean islands. Um, so I hope I can get that done. I don't know, some somewhere near in the future. Um, but as far as like the whole living off crypto, getting around on crypto, 
for me, uh, it's been real simple. I mean, obviously, we're involved with so many different projects. So you have, you know, different passive incomes coming in. Um, there's been times where, you know, since I am involved with so many different platforms, there's times where there's money in certain places where I completely forget about. And then somehow, some way that maybe that day or that week, I decided to go check up on some old projects. And next thing you know, I just got money chilling in there. So um, once you really get heavily involved in the space, uh, you start to find a plethora of ways uh, to generate some type of income. And I would say going into this year, uh, the next big goal is to really try to generate passive income that's, you know, somewhere close to about, what, $1,000 a day. Uh, I just feel like that particular number would be sufficient for me as far as what I'm trying to do. Obviously, I can obviously build on that, but that's a goal that needs to get hit uh, hopefully by Q2 or Q3. Probably going to have to narrow that down myself, but... um. Yeah, folks, you guys got to realize having these crypto cards is pretty much a lifesaver. Uh, reason why that is, and if you guys have, like I said, been following me, crypto.com, you know, that's probably one of the main cards I use. Why? Obviously, because of the perks, right? I mean, we're getting 3% cash back on every swipe. Uh, and that cash back is coming back in cryo. And if you guys have been obviously watching Crypto.com, you've probably seen the moves they've been making. Um, with the biggest one obviously being the one where they decided to go ahead and buy the naming rights for Staples Center. That was something that was really huge to see. Of course, me and probably all of the other investors that are involved with the project were really ecstatic on that because now that's that's a huge monument for obviously marketing advertising stuff like that but also too you know me being a card holder you know i'm hoping we get some type of you know lucrative bonuses and perks for being a card holder and the reason why i bring that up is because i got a chance to go check out sofi stadium um that stadium is just ridiculous uh thank god the rams won go rams go um but in there, I noticed, you know, if you're a SoFi card holder, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I saw that giving like 25% cash back on any purchases in the stadium. Now, that right there would just give me more incentive just to use the card. Why? Because I'm getting it back, folks. I'm getting it back. And I had 25% clip. That's very high. So, be. I haven't gone to Crypto.com Arena quite yet. Probably will be going there. Maybe what next Monday when the Lakers play. But I need to see some perks here, folks. Because right now I ain't going to cap to y'all. The customer service has gone down a bit. Um, they might want to go ahead and amplify their army on that side. Because uh, compared to when I first, like I said, I was, I'm one of the first ones or first, I guess, U.S. users that's probably been using the car for a while. Um, so I've kind of obviously seen them evolve and develop and stuff like that. And that's the one thing I have noticed is the customer service as they've gotten bigger as far as like, you know, more money coming into the company and then just kind of, you know, promoting their name and getting bigger in that sense. Uh, the customer service side has slipped and slipped in a big way to the point where it can get frustrating. Uh, so that is something that in the future I would love for them to work on because without your customer service, especially if you're using a card and you might be somewhere, you know, in the other country, you just never know what the situation might be. Knowing that you can, you know, obviously get in contact with somebody and get your issue resolved quickly rather than, you know, slowly, majestically, uh, you know, as a consumer, that's just, I would say, take some ease off your mind, right? Um, uh, so that's one of the cards. Now, my uphold my uphold card haven't had any issues. Uh, I would say maybe one issue I have is their customer service too, because they're the way their customer support works is kind of kind of weird. Um, uh, you gotta it's almost basically like you gotta email them because I don't think they have a way where you can call them. Um, and I don't think they have a chat system either, a chat support system. So. Again, those are some things that they can work on as well. There's always room for improvement. But um, with their card, same thing. You're getting cash back. Um, 
Now, I haven't had any issues with them as far as like actually using the card on a like day to day basis because that's what I do. I go back and forth between my crypto card and my uphold card. Um, reason why that is, uh, you know, sometimes for whatever reason, and I'm not blaming the card on this one. Sometimes when you're coming in contact with some of these POS systems, uh, for some reason, they just decide they don't want to work, which is very weird because for me, I haven't had mostly any issues when it comes to, you know, using the POS system because for the most part, normally I'm using Apple Pay uh, because these cards are attached to my wallet. So so most cases, I don't really have to take it out unless, you know, I'm at some store that's, you know, not in the future quite yet. And they're still kind of behind on times when it comes to um, accepting uh, mobile cards or just accepting Apple Pay as, 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 a, as a thing. Um, because for me, I, I just find Apple Pay just to be so easy, so uh, convenient because all you're doing is just tap the pay and you keep it pushing. Uh, makes everything, makes the process just, you know, quite faster. So um, those two cards have been my main ones. Ideally, what I would like to do is on both of these, uh, because, you know, each one has their own exchange on their application. So ideally, I would like to have an account where I'm probably what actively investing in trading on both of those accounts. That way I can kind of maybe use some of those profits or whatever to go ahead and load onto my card instead of having to always, you know, maybe sell from a different place then transferring it. Um, so that's something I'm looking to do here uh, this upcoming year is just, you know, making sure you have some accounts on there that's constantly trading. And the only thing I, that part of me is like, I don't want to do that is because I'm I'm so used to going on different exchanges and using like, you know, margin trading and like future trading. So, you know, going into that realm, I just know I can you know, go ahead and make some. I would say what bigger gains, obviously the risk could be a little bit higher, uh, but the gains are, the gains are there. Why? Because, you know, I've already, I've already experienced it. I know, you know, the numbers and all that stuff like that, what it takes to get, you know, X, Y, and Z. Uh, so I feel like maybe on these particular platforms, I'll probably have to have a bigger account size, which is, you know, not a problem. Just got to build up and work my way to that. Um, but those are the two main cards. Um, my BitPay card, I got to figure out what's going on with that card. Uh, I do have that one as well. <clears throat> now, as far as using that one, haven't really been actively using that one. Um, now there are some things I would like to see them adjust and add as far as features go. Um, I know they have, you know, had some upgrades, a little, a little twists and turns here and there as far as, uh, I believe they changed it where their conversion fee is, I think now at zero, um, cause I know at one point it was, it was charging an arm and a leg to convert stuff. But as far as their markets go, <sighs> the options are nowhere near uphold and, uh, crypto.com. Uh, but my next card that I really, really want to go ahead and get, I'm just kind of playing that out as far as the credit goes, uh, is the BlockFi card. And that's actually a credit card. So that's a card that if you're going to apply for that, they're definitely going to check your credit. So, you know, you'll definitely get an inquiry on your credit on that one. Um, like I said, I'm personally waiting probably maybe, maybe March or April, uh, to go ahead and apply for that one. Same thing with that one. You're definitely getting, you know, cash back. Uh, and also, too, if you are a BlockFi member and you're uh, staking some coins in there, you are earning some interest. I'm actually staking myself. I completely forgot I had some money in there. So definitely, definitely want to get that card next. Um, and I think that's where I'll be at going in the future. Uh, basically, I'll have two, basically two debit crypto cards and i'll have one crypto credit card um probably will be on the lookout for some other ones as well but as far as me and what i look at when it comes to getting some of these cards i'm looking at you know the features and the perks man like what am i getting for using the car at least with you know my debit cards uh my crypto debit cards i'm getting cash back on every every swipe i can't get that with uh my 
by U.S. based, uh, you know, regular bank debit cards, which is just crazy. Um, and so he's like, you know, I barely use those cards now. I just seem to be constantly using crypto. Why, folks? Well, I'm getting it back. You know, I use it. I get it back. That's that's just kind of how the ecosystem works around here. You, uh, <laughs> you use it, you get some partial of it back. And then from there, you can go ahead, maybe reinvest it, spend it. Right? Could it could be, I mean, it's up to you. I think on my crypto.com card, I've almost gotten back like $500 worth of cash back. Um, and there's been times where I've used that to buy certain things or really because it'd be wherever I need it at that given point in time. Just, just a good safety net to have, like, you know, you got some extra funds, depending on, you know, how crowd goes up. Uh, obviously, those funds can, you know, compound. But definitely want to try to go ahead and get some more of those coins before we hit a dollar. Uh, I've been... I think the guy's highest wig. I think it got like close to a dollar at some point. Um, but right now it's been kind of chilling. I think, I think the last time I checked, price has been like, like 50 to 60 cents. Uh, curious to see if it'll go down any lower than that. I got a funny feeling it won't. So definitely want to go ahead and uh, throw another chunk in there. Because for me, I'm on... Was it tier three of the card? I have the Jade Indigo one. I think I need another bag to get to that next tier. But even though if I can get that next tier, which, you know, would be a blessing in itself, uh, that one I'm going to get 5% cash back on every swipe. And there's some other perks that come with it as well. So um, that's something that I will be going ahead and trying to get accomplished. But, yeah, folks, December was crazy holidays, birthday, uh, crypto event. Um, obviously, with this new variant, the IHU, this is ridiculous. Uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this upcoming year uh, goes. But as far as me and what I'm looking to do and accomplish, definitely want to get more involved into the NFT space. i uh, been definitely on the Solana blockchain heavy uh, and been looking out for those particular NFT projects. I found some ones that are, you know, are pretty cool. I'll definitely be talking about them in, in uh, some of the upcoming episodes here. Um, cause I think that's another, another space that I really haven't quite attacked yet. Um, I've been tapped in with the DeFi space, tapped in with obviously just regular crypto investing and trading. Um, also to this year, I want to get into DAOs as well. Um, been reading up about those and, you know, going to that conference, some people feel like this could be the year of DAOs. So that's another research, uh, project that I need to go ahead and look into. Um, cause you know, with DAOs is pretty much it's more sort of like a governance. Everybody has a, you know, opinion can basically kind of be on like somewhere like a board of, Decision making when it comes to where the project is going in the future, where it's at now. Um, so there are some different perks when it comes to that particular thing. And like I said, that's something that I want to get into. And then exploring some other blockchains. Uh, you know, we got Avalanche, Luna, Phantom. Um, there's what Cosmos. There's some blockchains that I hadn't quite, you know, quite explored quite yet, but found some interesting projects platforms where i could try to take advantage of being on those particular uh blockchains because as you guys know if you've been following any of the ones i just named uh especially avalanche avalanche has been on a freaking crazy tear crazy tear cosmos is another one that i've been heavily watching and want to get involved with as far as some of their different protocols that they have to offer because again folks you know these protocols that I'm participating in providing liquidity pools and stuff like that. You know, I wasn't doing that probably about a year ago. Um, for me, I was a little bit, I would say nervous. Um, didn't quite fully understand how everything really worked. Now that I kind of got a better understanding of that, uh, you know, being part of liquidity pools has been pretty much exciting uh, because, you know, you're pretty much earning every day. You're earning fees from different levels. And um, <laughs> what other thing is better than just earning income daily for literally not doing anything except for providing some liquidity to the protocol, right? Obviously, liquidity pairs, you know, you obviously got to do your research on that. 
for me, I like to, you know, dive in into pairs that have one to one as far as like one being a stable coin, one being a crypto, and then also do the crypto to crypto pair as well. So definitely wanna I would say go a little bit more down the rabbit hole when it comes to DeFi. Uh I know there are some new platforms uh that people have been talking about that I need to go ahead and check out. And then I think another project that I'm really looking forward to is uh NFL Top Shop. Uh, I believe they should be coming out pretty soon. Not for sure quite exactly when. I am on their wait list, so I am going to be keeping my eye out on that. And then also, too, I think the metaverse is something that I'll probably go ahead and try to tackle as well. And definitely mining. So when it comes to helium mining, um, I finally actually got my miner to work. Uh, I just got another one that I'll be setting up here probably the next day or so. And I'll probably be buying some more because uh, I watched some videos and, you know, that's pretty much like a no brainer. If you don't have any healing miners right now, that's something that you got to definitely add to your to your to do list. Uh, that's easy passive income you'd be getting and helium right now currently is at 44 bucks. Uh, so, yeah, that's I would say that's another huge, huge thing that I want to go ahead, tackle, get that done, because, again, you know, it's easy passive income here, folks, while I can, you know, go ahead and do my other things as far as in the crypto space uh just being able to have that you know ample amount of time to you know do your own research because i tell people all the time when you're looking into some of these projects you gotta you gotta do your own research man if you don't and you just go off of what he or she said you know sometimes that's a that's a way to lose money um and you don't want to have those type of experiences uh but yeah folks again this new year, 2022, I'm really, really excited to see what crypto has to offer. Um, and then again, all the projects that I'll be following up with to see how they develop. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be exciting times. Obviously, constantly, constantly looking for those winners. Uh, hopefully, I find some more this year. I think I, I think I got a couple. Just got to be patient. That's that's the one thing. Um, in the space, man, you gotta be patient because sometimes those opportunities are very slim. That window, you miss it, and the next thing you know, you'll be crying about it for a while. So that's going to wrap it up as far as this episode goes. Again, just want to kind of give you guys an update on what your boy has been up to. The Wolf of Crypto out here constantly, constantly collecting crypto, constantly looking for new projects, um, and also two of the podcasts. The podcast will be expanding. Um, I will be actually on a new platform coming soon, hopefully. I'm just waiting for them to basically go ahead and approve it. Um, but the application, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, it's called like a verbal. Um, so on that particular platform, the podcast I make on over there will be a little bit different just for the fact that on that platform, I'm actually allowed to do playlists. Uh, so, like, you know, certain projects that I'm following, I can just go ahead and kind of make a playlist for that particular project. And you guys will be able to just kind of go ahead and listen to it through that way, kind of similar to my YouTube playlist. So that's something you guys can be on the lookout for. Um, but, again, I got, man, projects on deck, projects on deck. Uh, I think the next project that I'll probably talk about on my next episode will be We Are the Walrus. Uh, I want to say that is like what my first NFT project where I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and try to be part of the community, you know, be active. Because, you know, so all these discords that you get yourself involved with, I mean, there's there's so many. It's a lot to keep up with. I'm not going to I'm not going to capture y'all. Um, there's constantly things being happen, announcements developments i mean you you name it um and there's also another project that i want to talk to you guys about too on one of these next episodes called uh next earth uh i was actually doing well as far as like you know commissions and stuff like that but then they went ahead and decided to go ahead and switch on the polygons uh blockchain which you know no big deal but you know i had about what 
for BNB and commission on that platform. So it was nice to earn some BNB. <clears throat> it was nice to earn some BNB that way uh, because I've been, you know, trying to figure out different ways to earn some more BNB uh, and stack on that as well. But I think I think I did find some other ways as well. But um, I'll be talking about those, like I said, in the upcoming episodes, folks. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Those of you guys that have been, been listening to the podcast, been following me. Uh, make sure you guys check out my other, you know, funnels of information, my other channels. As you guys know, the Wolf of Crypto Network is expanding always. You guys can check me out on YouTube, uh, Rizzle. I am making some TikTok videos as well. And of course, you guys always listen to me on my podcast. Uh, you know, my podcast is available pretty much everywhere. Uh, everywhere podcasts are available. And of course, that new platform that's coming out, Verbal. Be on the lookout for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, y'all. That's going to wrap it up as far as this episode goes. Again, appreciate you guys tuning in, listening. This is your host, The Wolf of Crypto. You guys have been listening to The Crypto Millionaire Journey. And until the next time, y'all, y'all take it easy. Peace.